eight wise trusts. Uh, it's a very risk averse strategy. You could do it either in the calls or the puts. Um, you're trying to pinpoint both the time frame and a strike uh, when you're buying it uh, to get the max value out of it. Uh, when you're selling it, and I'm not a big advocate of selling a lot of butterflies, you're trying to do that in the last week or a few days out, and then you're also expecting the stock to have a considerable move away from the strikes that you're trading because you want to make sure that you capture the credit that you sold it for. Uh, if you can get in uh, with some decent time left, you know, obviously the cheaper price you can get in with less time is going to be to your advantage. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that as every day ticks towards expiration, the butterfly is going to start changing its price to where it's going to become more and more expensive uh, and less and less expensive depending upon what strike it is that matches to the stock. So right now, Slumberjay is $85. So the 85 butterfly, if the stock stayed here and these 16 days ticked by each day by day by day, this a butterfly, which if you look at the uh, 82 and a half, 85, 87 and a half butterfly, okay, which right here is 44 cents that we talked about, right? What's going to happen with this stock staying at 85 is this two and a half point butterfly is going to go from 44 cents to 70 cents to 90 to a buck 10 to a buck 20 to buck 30 as each of these days start ticking by because what happens is this this 82 and a half call all right let's figure it out 365 plus 82 and a half is uh, what 8615 so you can see there's uh, 94 cents premium in there the 85 call look at how much premiums in there over a buck 90. The 87 half calls all premium, 90 cents. So as the premium levels of each of these calls come out, you obviously would say, see what, what's happening. It's, it's going to expand the price of each of the verticals. Okay? And obviously the one that's out of the money, it's going to decrease. So that's why the butterfly is going to gain in price as time ticks by with the stock staying at the price. Now obviously, all these other strikes, the premium levels are going to collapse there. So where the stock is staying at 85, these higher price calls, what's going to happen there is they're all going to dissipate to zero, so therefore the butterfly is going to be worth zero. It's going to collapse, as you can see how the prices are so low. The same is true of the strikes that are lower. Okay, It's not that they're losing their value uh, in, in the actual price intrinsically. There's not much premium levels to begin with in there because they're so deep in the money. So as time passes, they're really losing the balance of their premium levels, so they're just simply going to be uh, at the money uh, parity options. So this will be two and a half point difference, and that'll be two and a half point difference. So the key is to try and get in at a very cheap valuation, okay, and then watch it move towards expiration, and hopefully that you've picked the right strike to where you've gone uh, short the middle and you're long the outers and it's moving to that middle strike, and you're watching this expand, and you're going to see how quickly the value increases on the, uh, the, the butterfly from what you bought it, and then you'll be able to look and see, well, hey, it's time to take my profit. 